May the Lord support us all the day long, with his head, strengthen, and his income, and the busy world is hushed, and the finger of life is turned off, and our work is done. Then in his mercy, may he give us a safe lodging and holy rest, and peace at the bus. Amen. We would like to acknowledge the Dark people who are the traditional custodians of this land, who have lived on and cared for the country for tens of thousands of years. We also pay respect to the past, present, and elders of the Dark Nation. We extend that respect to other Aboriginal people present and we commit ourselves to work towards reconciliation. We also would like to acknowledge our patrician heritage, a proud tradition of faithful servants on which school has been built on. I acknowledge the patrician brothers, past and present, who have served the Laney College and many communities throughout the world. Thank you, John. I'd like to invite Mr. Paranachi to talk about our upcoming sporting event. Thank you, John. Thank you very much. Um, I have a few things I need to speak about today. First and foremost, um, I'd like to acknowledge those people who represented Domain College in the cross country on the 23rd of April, which was on Friday of week one at the Sydney Equestrian Centre. So as I read out the names, I'll ask Mr. Easton to come and uh, present these students with their medal. Helena Simbaya. <laughs> Chanel Dejean. Stella Fitzpatrick, Levi Henderson, Alvin Chris, Rylan Robeck, Jack Perrin, Antonio Shamoon, Sebastian Ruffley, Jason Ewan. David Toke and Joshua Ruffley. Can we please congratulate these uh, representatives of our school? <laughs> Next up on the agenda is our upcoming athletics card, which will be taking place on Monday of week eight, which is the 7th of June at Polroyd Sports Grounds. Uh, just so you're aware, on the day we'll be providing a barbecue lunch for everyone. So you will not be required to bring a lunch with you. Uh, and uh, there'll be no canteen available on the day. In terms of uh, time you need to arrive, you'll need to arrive at 8.45 in the morning in your either your sport uniform or in a house colour mufti. The normal rules for mufti days apply. Uh, the one event that won't be running on that day, uh, but is very important, is the 800 metres event. On Google Classroom, on the Sport Google Classroom, you will find a, uh, a place to register for that event. So if you are interested in running in the 800 metres, that will be taking place next Monday after school. If there is a reason why uh, you can't attend after school on Monday, please let me know uh, and we'll find another time to get your time for that event. But otherwise, can you please make sure you register on Google Classroom so I know to come and find you and to let, uh, tell you when and where you need to be on Monday afternoon. Uh, and other than that, we hope it's a good day and uh, looking forward to seeing everyone competing in their houses. The final thing for me is about the gym. It's been great seeing over the past couple of weeks more and more students using the gym. Uh, please remember that you know it's for everyone to use. So we're welcoming people from all year groups um, 
we have our our sessions uh, for our uh, boys on a uh, Monday morning, Wednesday Arvo, Thursday morning, and Friday afternoon. And for our girls, we have Monday afternoon, Wednesday morning, Thursday afternoon, and Friday morning. So if you are interested in using the gym, uh, please come and collect a form from the front office and uh, we look forward to seeing you there. Thank you. I'd now like to invite our school captain, Naomi Brandon, to talk about our upcoming work. Uh, good morning, teachers and students. So, Multiculture Day is a community event that has been held annually at the school for several years now. Um, so, this year's multicultural event will be run by each house leader duo. And there will be four different coordinated sections. Our first section will be run by the McKillop leaders and it will be about coordinating publicity and advertisements. So uh, if you'd like to be involved with this, please refer to Bianca and Shady, which are our two McKillop house leaders. Our second, um, sorry, our second thing for this year's North Cultural Day will be run by the Campion house leaders, and this will be all organizing cultural dress and this is Mira and Elaine, which are the two campaign house leaders. <laughs> I'd like to pass over to Naomi now. Um, so our chisel leaders, which is Julian and Joel, and they'll be organizing cultural food, uh, food. So refer to them for any meal needs or if you want any advice on what you can bring to a cultural dish. So they'll be organizing that. The TV house leaders will be running uh, performances at the runway. And there is additional options. So if you wanted to do a poetry or uh, like any speaking about your culture, um, even like this performance, like a singing, uh, that's available. So Maggie and Angela are your go-to people for that. Um, if you do need any uh, advice or want to just speak about what's called today or what you can do, you can refer to either uh, myself or Brandon or the um, any of the house leaders, and they will all be doing that. And what's called this day is uh, this year is on the 18th of June on a Friday. Friday weekend. Thank you. Thank you. So good afternoon, uh, staff, students, and guests we have to the college today, and those people that may be watching this later online. Uh, there's three things I'd really like to speak to you today. First, uh, a series of thank yous uh, that are fairly important. Uh, secondly, I'd like to share with you a little example of respect um, and just go through a, a little story. And thirdly, just some, some things that we're looking forward to this year. So first of all, a very big thank you to um, all those people that did represent us across country uh, and put in their best efforts and did us very proud and the staff that supported that. Um, and extending that to all the staff and students that prepare and uh, participate in our gala days. These are significant opportunities for us to um, get experience in the sporting fields outside of our college. Uh, and I really appreciate the sacrifice that goes into that. I'd like to thank all the students, particularly that have made the extra effort to make sure that their uniform is immaculate uh, during this term. There's still a bit of work to do, but I know for many, there are sacrifices in getting that right. And I really appreciate the, uh, the pride that you show in your school and yourself uh, when you get that right. So thank you very much for that. But also I'd like just to think back to our last time all together as a community at our Anzac, Day, uh, Anzac Day Liturgy, and then prior to that, our Easter Liturgy, and the respectful way which, uh, with which we as a community celebrated those events. I know we don't get together as often as we would like, and that uh, coming out of COVID, that, that has been a, a difficult thing for us to do. But when we do, that we can show appreciation of time and place, uh, that we can build a sense of belonging, and then understanding the sense of sacred in our lives uh, is very important as well. And I think it's also important to, uh, to thank staff uh, this year, and particularly this term, uh, for all the additional work that's gone in. For students, many of you don't see the work that goes in uh, behind uh, the scenes for staff to get lessons and, and assessment and pieces, um, uh, learning experiences ready for you, and it's run all the additional events. But there is a myriad of work that goes in. Uh, it is very timely. And there's been a lot of positive change this year in our classrooms. So it's a very big thank you to our staff for what happens each 
And then just to acknowledge those staff that look after our facilities, uh, that feed and care for a number of our students, uh, that run the special events, and make sure that the environment is fit for us to learn. Uh, I'm very appreciative. And on behalf of the whole community, I want to thank you for all the work that you do in that space. I'd like to, uh, to share a little story with you. Um, it's a true story uh, about respect that demonstrates how important it is to be kind and mindful of those people that are around you. So this is a, a story of Julian. Julian is a factory worker. He worked in a meat distribution factory. One day uh, when he finished his work, uh, he went into the meat cold room to inspect something. But as you would see in the movies, uh, he had a moment of bad luck and the door closed and he was locked on the inside uh, with no help in sight. Although he screamed and knocked with all his might, no one could hear Julian uh, and he was stuck. All the workers had already gone home and outside the cold room, it was impossible to hear what was going on inside. Five hours later, uh, Julian was on the verge of death. And as this time that the security guard of the factory uh, eventually went by and opened the door and saved Julian's life. Later, Julian asked the security guard how he got to open the door because it wasn't part of his normal routine to go past and check that area. And the security guard replied, I've been working in this factory for 35 years. Hundreds of workers come in and out every day. But you're one of the few who greets me in the morning and says goodbye to me every night when leaving after working hours. Many treat me as if I am invisible. Today, like every other day, you greeted me in your simple manner. Hello. But curiously, after working hours today, I observed I had not heard a goodbye and see you tomorrow. Hence, I decided to check around the factory. I look forward to your hi and goodbye every day. To you, I am someone. By not hearing your farewell, I knew something had happened. Then I sought and found you. A lesson to reflect on. Be humble. Love and respect those around you. We all want to be safe, secure, and feel that we belong. Try to have an impact on people in ways we can't even imagine, especially the people that cross our path every day. Someone seemingly so insignificant and irrelevant could be the only help we can get tomorrow. So just looking forward, I know we're in a busy period for assessment and we're deep into our learning. Make sure you give yourself the opportunity to focus, be prepared, to make sure that the learning is in place and the routines allow you to succeed. Can I ask you to make sure, as in that short story, that you are acting with respect, that you are mindful of those people around you. Ask yourself, what action can I take today to show my respect for others? We've had a number of upgrades to our facilities this year, uh, new furniture, uh, new resources. Uh, my question is, how are we showing respect for those things? These little things make a big difference to our lives. Little things like cleaning up for yourself, after yourself, are important ways that you can show how you respect what we have and gratitude. One of the things I just want to mention, it's not necessarily a positive, uh, is about a rubbish around the place at the moment. My question to you, do you think it's respectful to leave things lying around for someone else to clean up? Is that showing respect for the people that provide us opportunities and look after our facilities? In fact, sometimes people go to great lengths to put rubbish in a place it shouldn't be, where it would have been easier to put it in the bin in the first place. So where we are at the moment with that isn't good enough. And I ask you to think carefully about what you can do to change that. Finally, I'd like to ask you to show respect by being mindful of your behaviour to others. You don't know what other people are going through, what struggles they may have to face. 
So it may be that you can just be the positive difference in their day. Be kind. If someone is being unkind, return that with kindness. Then be kind again. And then be even kinder. So this is what we are on about at Delaney College. Be Christ for others. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ at my right hand, Christ at my left. Thank you, God bless. So just a general update for the rest of our partial period. For the remainder of this period, stage four students will continue working on their house shield designs. That's their house crest. Stage five will be listening to information um, about learning pathways from the Cath West principal. Year 11 to work with their mentor teachers and year 12 to work with their mentor teachers. Thank you. Hello again. Um, due to some technical difficulties, we were unable to show you a video of that one call today. So uh, now we're going to just flash back and show you a video of the previous year. Thank you. We're still having some technical difficulties. We'll give it another 30 seconds. But I'd just like to say a very um, big thank you to Teeny House for hosting the assembly uh, today. So thank you very much, Teeny House. Give yourselves a clap. Thank you very much.